So, welcome aboard. Here's your controls. More about those when I actually take her out somewhere. Let's go down into the cabin. So you've got your dining area to the port side. The oven, stove and sink in there with power with water to the starboard side. And then you've got your bed. This also converts into two beds as well. And then you've also got a bed out of the deck, although I wouldn't really fancy sleeping on it, but each to their own. Now you notice in here it's very traditional. People that know me will know I like traditional things. But I've been told by people that know that boats that get messed around with, they lose the value. So it's better to leave them in the condition you find them. So this will be staying pretty much the same as it is. The toilet's a bit grotty. I'm not showing you in there, but there's nothing to see. So I'm going to do something with that. And the only other thing I've done is down here. Look at these carpet tiles. There was an old piece of vinyl there before with uh, polystyrene and old material stuck to it. And it looked, it looked crap, to be honest. So I've covered that up with some carpet tiles. And because I did it in the middle of winter, the glue's not sticking too well. So what I've done, I've put this beam here around it just to hold it until the glue finally goes off. And then let's take you up onto the deck. Look, co-pilot seat there. Under here, you've got your gas bottles for your cooking. Under here is the business end there. We're going to shift these things out the way. There you go, it's a Nanny 22 horsepower diesel engine installed about 30 years ago so it's probably one of the newer things on the boat and under there you've got the batteries which i won't bore you with this particular boat like many has two batteries one for starting the engine and one dedicated for everything else so that's your lights and that so you should always have a charge battery to start your engine that's the idea of it anyway so that's the interior